Hi, my name is Jason. I am the CEO of this company. This is Sam, our Vice President of Research and Development. This is Winnie, our Vice President of Marketing, and Natalie, our Vice President of Finance. So for us, Generics, we believe we can find alternative energy solutions one door at a time. So first, let me introduce our team. So our team is founded by seven young entrepreneurs. Three of them are honor business students. Four of them are very smart engineers. A little bit crazy at times, but very talented indeed. And we also joined by four strong board advisory members who gave, gave us countless advice. So first, let me demonstrate the product, or let me give a demonstration of something. First, look at my hand. When I crank my hand, this light turns on. Now, imagine instead of having this hand movement powering this light, what if I could transfer this towards a door? So by opening and closing this door, you could power this light. Now, imagine it's not just a light. What happens if you transfer it to a laser, and not just a regular laser that just shoots a laser beam? What if you could modify the laser that projects an image? That's what our turn to light device will look like. So if you place this on a door, this laser will shine and project an image. So what's so great about this product? Well, we, we're convinced that this product is very green because this is a self-sustainable product. When you open and close this product once, you're able to power an image that can shine for up to one minute long. We believe it's a very safe product as well because we chose a laser that's FDA approved for safety. It is upgradable. Not only does this can be a light, in future times you can develop other type of products to be added on to this. You can produce a sound when you open the door. You can connect a camera, a security camera that could be attached to this door. And it's also very customizable. So when you project this one image, you're probably wondering, is this the end? No. You can release customizable caps that can change the images. Very easy to change, very cost effective. And it's also a revenue generator, but I will get into this later. So first, let's talk about this. Has this been thought of before? Yes, it has. But has anyone came up with a product like this before? No. People have only come up with the concept of having a door movement power electricity, power type of source. But no one's ever thought about, what can you do with it? So we thought that, hmm, let's consider the advertising agency. So when we consider the advertising agency in general, we, we, we have to think about, it's, gonna, it's a $10.27 billion industry in Canada alone. Oh, sorry, go back. So first, before we get into the industry, consider the market for our product first. So we asked local businesses around BC, what would they be interested in if they could power a self-powered device just by opening and closing the door? So from this survey, you can see that security camera seems to be the most prominent choice. So we considered having a security camera first, but then we couldn't consider a market for it. But look at the logo projector. It's a small 4%, but 4% of what? So that brings us into the market. So we thought that this local projector could be used as an advertising medium. So imagine that you're Sony or Apple and you project your image onto the ground. So whenever you open and close this door, this image will be shown to you. And the reason why this could be effective is that it's a change in their environment. It's not just having a mat on the ground where you see the image. When you open the door, it's like, whoa, what's this picture? It's Apple, and they just imprint it into your mind. And then we wish to capture just at least 0.01% of this industry, which will amount to $1 million. We are very confident we accomplish more than this. So you're probably wondering, what type of businesses will we try to attack? Well, we to consider the businesses that have like a lot of people going through doors, businesses that already generate advertising revenue already, people places that already receive sponsorship. So we consider hotels, because they hold conferences. Cinemas, event venues such as GM Place and medium-sized businesses. And eventually we hope this to be an opportunity, uh, 2010 Olympics to be an opportunity for us. Because we believe that when people come around the world to see us, we want to show them this innovative technology. Next. So what's our marketing plan? How are we going to uh, make money out of this? That's the bottom line, right? How can we make money? So obviously we make money by selling our products to businesses. But why would businesses want this? Well, for example, say you're GM Place. You have a hockey game, Canucks game. You've received sponsorship for all those boards around the hockey ring people playing a game. But has anyone re realized that you can get revenue from just opening and closing a door? This is an advertising space. This is untapped potential. So, and the reason why you might want to adopt this is this is much more cost effective than having printed media, television advertisements, radio ads. This is, we're selling the device for only $150 a piece. And each customizable cap, these images only cost, we're selling for $60 and only cost $5 for us to produce. And the reason why we charge such a high price compared to the cost is that since this is, no one has ever thought of this before, we want to seize the revenue before people try to get around of patents and try to create similar products. So how will we do this? So even though I say all this, what's our timeline? 
So in the first quarter, we plan to produce a prototype once we receive funding. We want to perfect it. We want to fine tune it. We have to design. We know what parts we need. We know what we want it to look like. We just need to perfect it. After this, we will work about the marketing distribution ourselves. And they're probably wondering, why are we trying to do this ourselves? Well, we want to work with businesses around BC first. We want to teach them what benefits they might get about it. What's their full potential? Because we realize that we receive the most, uh, highest margin for selling customizable caps or having more contributions from them. When they keep coming back to us, we make more money. So say your GM plays and he's like, oh, this is a great product. This sponsor wanted us. Oh, another sponsor wants this product. They keep regenerating more revenue. And with all the sales that we get, we plan to reinvest this into growth, expansion. We want to go across Canada. We go across North America. We want to go for the world eventually. And we also plan to invest more back into research and development because, I mean, a laser is great, a projector and all, but this is just one product. We want to release more products. Like, based on our market survey, we had people wanting security cameras. I won't talk about that in this presentation, but we'll, we will plan to go that far. So, when you think about what happens if we don't make it? Well, we're not the best people at starting a business, but we do know our technology. And then, we, so we plan to license our technology if worst comes to worst, and we collect royalties. And based on these royalties, we will invest into research and development, because that's what our crazy entre no, engineers are good at doing. Or we plan to be acquired. So our projected growth over the next year. So we plan to break even within the first year and receive continuous growth over the next years. So we are asking, no, at Generix, when we have a problem, we solve it. When we need help, we find it. And when we need money, we ask for it. So we're asking for a $140,000 investment for 20% ownership. And then we would use this funding for prototype development, establishment operations, research and development, and most importantly, patented technology, because we don't want anyone coming and stealing our idea. And we were able to guarantee our, re oh, not guarantee. We were able to provide your uh, return of investment over five years of 485%. And we are Generics. We are finding the solutions one door at a time. Thank you.